Hello everybody, welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom. As so far, I've been your host, Zir Yeti. Let's go into it. The first animal week being the common warthog, which is a species of pig that is native throughout the grasslands, savannas, and woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. Here they live in groups called saunders, comprised primarily of females and their young, with males preferring to live alone, alone occasionally joining a sounder in times of plenty and areas of heavy predation, or during the breeding season. Uh, warthogs are omnivorous, with their diet compri comprised primarily of grasses, roots, fruit, bark, fungi, insects, eggs, and carrion. Common warthogs are themselves preyed upon by lions, leopards, cheetahs, crocodiles, wild dogs, hyenas, uh, virixes, eagle owls, and martial eagles. The common warthog's primary defense is to flee at up to 34 miles an hour, however, when cornered, they are known to fight aggressively, charging and even severely wounding predators with their large razor-sharp tusks. Common warthogs have been observed to share their burrows with banded mongooses and vervet monkeys in exchange for shelter and protection from smaller predators. Uh, said mongooses and monkeys will share their food with and groom the warthogs, ridding them of ticks and other parasites. Reaching around 3 to 4 feet in length, standing 2 to 3 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing 90 to 330 pounds in weight, the common warthog is a medium-sized species known for its brown to black skin, dark black mane, and two pairs of sharp ivory tusks protruding from the mouth and curving upwards. Said tusks are used to cut food, dig, in combat against other warthogs, and defend themselves against predators, as previously mentioned. Common warthogs are seasonal breeders, with rutting beginning in late, late rainy or early dry season and birthing occurring during the start of the following rainy season. After a five to six month pregnancy, females will give birth to two to eight piglets. Common warthog sows have been observed to nurse foster piglets and ad even adopt them if they lose their own litter. Uh, piglets begin grazing around two to three weeks and are weaned by six months. Under ideal conditions, a warthog will reach sexual maturity around 18 to 24 months of age and may live upwards of 18 years. Next up is the banded mongoose, which is a species of mongoose that is native throughout sub-Saharan Africa, where they inhabit savannas, open forests, scrublands, and grasslands, feeding primarily upon invertebrates such as millipedes, beetles, crickets, termites, and other insects, as well as eggs, amphibians, small snakes, small lizards, and small ground birds. Unlike other mongoose species, which are typically solitary, the banded mongoose is a highly social species, which lives in mixed-sex groups of 7 to 40 individuals. In such groups, there is generally no strict hierarchy, and aggression is low. Additionally, banded mongooses are known to form symbiotic relationships, as previously mentioned, with warthogs, wherein the warthogs provide mongooses with easy access to shelter and protection from smaller predators, and mongooses will in turn rid the warthogs of ticks and other parasites. Uh, banded mongooses are regularly preyed upon by jackals, leopards, lions, cheetahs, large snakes, African wild dogs, and various birds of prey. Reaching 10 to 18 inches in length, not including the tail, and 3 to 5 pounds in weight, the banded mongoose is a sturdy animal with a large head, small ears, short muscular limbs, and a long tail, which is almost as long as the rest of the body. The abdominal part of the body is higher and rounder than the breast, than the breast area, and the rough fur is a grayish brown to black. There are also usually several dark brown to black horizontal bars across the back. The limbs and snout are darker, while the underparts are lighter than the rest of the body. Banded mongooses have strong claws that allow them to dig in soil, and unlike other social mongoose species, all females in a banded mongoose group can breed and tend to go into estrus around the same time every four to five months. After a 60 70-day gestation period, the mothers will typically give birth to two to six pups around the same time as all other females in the group. For the first four weeks of life, pups stay in the dens where they form an exclusive relationship with a single helper or escort, mongoose, which helps the pups to find food and grooms them and protects them from danger. After the first four weeks, the pups are raised more communally until becoming independent around two months of age. Under ideal conditions, the banded mongoose reach sexual maturity around 9-10 months of age 
and will have up to 17 years. Next up is the red-winged blackbird, which is a passerine bird in the family Ictiridae, found in most of North America and Central America, where it breeds from Alaska and Newfoundland in the, uh, in the north to Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, and Guatemala in the south, with, with isolated populations occurring in western El Salvador, northwestern Honduras, northwestern Costa Rica. Here they tend to inhabit grasslands, wetlands, fresh and saltwater marshes, deciduous forests, agricultural lands, and dry upland areas where they feed upon dragonflies, butterflies, moths, flies, snails, eggs, carrion worms, spiders, seeds, flowers, berries, and other fruit. Red-winged blackbirds are themselves preyed upon by raccoons, minks, weasels, magpies, grackles, owls, hawks, and snakes. Uh, the common name for the red-winged blackbird is taken from the black Adult males distinctive red shoulder patches, which are visible when the bird is flying or displaying. In contrast, females is the female is usually a dark brown, covered in intense white and dark veining. The female is also smaller than the male at 4 to 7 inches in length, uh, and weighing around 1 to 2 ounces compared to males at around 6 to 10 inches in length and 2 to 3 ounces in weight. Red-winged blackbird is a territorial, poly polygynous, and gregarious, and short-distance migratory bird, which can form flocks upwards of a million strong. Breeding occurs in large colonies from May through to July, with each blackbird typically mating with several partners, producing two to three clutches per season, often of mixed parentage. The female will construct a nest of grasses, sedges, and mosses lined with mud, and bound to surrounding grasses or branches of cattails, rushes, grasses, sedge, or adler and willow bushes. Here she will lay and incubate two to six pale blue-green eggs with markings of black, brown, and purple, concentrated at the larger end. Uh, she, does, she incubates them for a period of 10 to 12 days. After hatching, all parents involved uh, are... All parents involved with the clutch feed and raise said chicks until they fledge around 11 to 14 days of age. Under ideal conditions, red-winged blackbird may live upwards of 15 years. Next up is the wood frog, which is a species of amphibian native to North America, where it has a broad distribution that extends from the Arctic boreal forests of Alaska and Canada in the north to the Appalachian Mountains of Georgia in the south. Throughout their range, adult wood frogs spend summer months in moist woodlands, forested swamps, ravines, or bogs. During the fall, they leave their summer habitats and migrate to neighboring uplands to hibernate over winter. During such a hibernation, the wood frog will bury itself underneath a layer of topsoil and leaf litter and accumulate large amounts of urea and glucose in their tissues, which act as cryoprotectants enabling the frogs to tolerate freezing of their blood and other tissues, which allows the frogs to remain alive even when near completely frozen solid. Wood frogs are an omnivorous species, which feeds upon plant detritus, algae, eggs, various invertebrates, and either, even other smaller amphibians. They are themselves preyed upon by snakes, snapping turtles, raccoons, skunks, foxes, coyotes, and various species of birds. Average around 2-3 inches in length, adult wood frogs are usually brown, tan, or rust colored with a dark eye mask. The underparts are usually a pale yellow or green, but may be a molted cream in northern populations. Additionally, the overall body color may change throughout the season as exposure to sunlight causes darkening. Adult wood frogs emerge from hibernation in early spring and immediately migrate to nearby sources of water to breed, preferring ephemeral pools over permanent body water water sources such as ponds or lakes. Wood frogs are considered explosive breeders. Many populations will conduct all mating within the span of a single week. Females will lay masses of 1,000-3,000 eggs which will hatch between 9 and 30 days later and after an additional month tadpoles fully transition into frogs. Under ideal conditions a wood frog will reach sexual maturity at 1 to 2 years of age and move up to 5 years. Next up is the burgundy snail, also known as the Roman snail, the edible snail, or the escargot. Uh, it is a species of large, edible, nocturnal, air-breathing land snail in the mollusk family Helicidae that is native throughout much of mainland Europe with introduced populations uh, occurring around the world 
especially in the British Isles, the Scandinavian Peninsula, and eastern Russia, with those populations having occurred for several thousand, uh, several hundred to several thousand years. Uh, throughout their range, burgundy snails inhabit forests, shrubland, gardens, grasslands, and, vi- and vineyards, especially along rivers. However, they are confined to areas with calcareous substrate below 7,000 feet in elevation. Like other invertebrates, these snails hibernate to survive cold temperatures of the winter months. Prior to hibernation, they li- they dig a hole and lay shell mouth up before completely retracting into their shells and screening a mucus covering called an ephagram to seal the shell's opening. Burgundy snails feed upon fruit, leaves, flower, tree sap, and other vegetation and are themselves eaten by birds, centipedes, insects such as beetles, toads, hedgehogs, mice, and they are extensively, they are extensively eaten by humans who raise them by the millions. Uh, reaching one half, two and a half inches in length and one to one and three fourths inches tall and one two inches wide, the burgundy snail is amongst the largest land invertebrates in Europe. The body is a tiny cream color, while the shell is a dark brown with three to five light brown bands, four to five whorls, and is generally round or conical in shape. Uh, Breeding takes place among mature snails in late spring to early summer, but is known to occur as late as October. They are hermaphroditic species, and during mating, both snails will impregnate each other. After fertilization occurs, the snails can deposit anywhere from 8 to 30 eggs in a hole. They dig in moist, deep soil before covering the eggs back up in a mixture of slime and soil. Juveniles hatch after 3 to 4 weeks and will reach their maturity around 2 to 5 years of age. Under ideal conditions, a burgundy snail may have up to 20 years. Next up is the Fiji banded iguana, which is a species of iguanid lizard endemic to the Fijian islands. Uh, they are an arboreal species that tends to inhabit rainforest and cloud forest between 650 to 1,700 feet in elevation. While they are known to feed on the occasional insect, the vast bulk of their diet is comprised of leaves, fruit, and flowers of trees and shrubs, particularly hibiscus flowers of the vio tree, or the vio tree, or the vayu tree, sorry, uh, and fruits such as bananas and papayas. Reaching up to two feet in length, Fiji banana iguanas are bright green lizards with crested spines and long tails, which are up to half the length of their body. Uh, these tails help them to balance while climbing trees. Uh, males have wide blue or light green stripes along their body, while females, on the other hand, are generally solid green, but may have a few white or pale blue spots. These lizards have reddish-orange eyes and yellow nostrils, Mating season occurs twice a year, during which time males court females by bobbing their heads and flicking their tongues. After, cop- after copulation, uh, females will dig burrows and nesting sites to lay their eggs. Generally, they lay a clutch of around five eggs, which they incubate for seven to nine months. Uh, under ideal conditions, a Fiji banded iguana will reach sexual maturity around three to four years of age and live up to 25 years. And our extinct animal of the week is Waherosaurus, which is an extinct genus of stegosaurid dinosaur, lived throughout what is now China and Mongolia during the early Cretaceous period, around 132 to 113 million years ago. The first remains of Waherosaurus, consisting of several vertebrae and mostly complete pelvis, several arm bones, and two dermal plates, were unearthed and described in 1973 by Dong Ziming and his team from the to Tugalu group of the Wahero Valley in the Xinjiang province of western China. Since then, four more specimens have been unearthed with two species of Wahero, with two species being recognized, Waherosaurus hominihini and Waherosaurus ordosensis. Waherosaurus is estimated to reach between 16 and 23 feet in length and weigh somewhere between 2,600 and 8,800 pounds. However, due to the fragmentary nature of all the remains, the exact size of Waherosaurus is hard to determine. We do know it was a strongly built, broad-bodied animal with a long neck, shoulder spikes, and a a tall spiked tail. 
Its dorsal plates were first thought to have been much squarer and flatter than other stegosaurids, but it was later realized this was an illusion caused by the breakage of the bone, and the plates were actually taller and much more rounded. In life, Wahrasaurus would have inhabited wetlands, swamps, and coastal plains, possibly traveling in herds as it fed upon low-lying vegetation. As always, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals.